Hello everybody, happy Tuesday or whatever day of the week it is and I hope you're having a splendid day or night and let's get into the video. So, a few days I've been watching, I have currently been making a bunch of random current household videos because I have a lot of sons who I deeply enjoy playing with and some of them are like more of a current household than others but uh, basically all we do is we take a some particular or the household, we play with them for a little bit, usually some big life thing happens and we move on. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this is the third member part of the Tiny Home Owners Association Club in my save um, and her name is Cameron Godina and these are her two little pepperonis so we have a Cleo Liberty right here and then we have honestly I forgot their names I haven't played with them for a second Simon right here he's so cute I'm not going to lie though we love Liberty especially because we're not really dog breeders by career but we have been doing it a little bit and um Liberty's obviously, you know, clear Liberty's the mama, but uh, we favor um, <laughs> Simon. And when I say favor, you'll, you'll see in a second. But this is our house. Oh, I mean, you already saw the outside. Uh, we have these two trees, you know, whatever. And then we have this cute <laughs> banana tree over here, just chilling. Also, what does that mean? I don't know what that means, but it's raining. But yeah, we'll water you. Um, and we'll kind of let the dogs go inside because <laughs> it's been too much. So. Let's go ahead and do this real fast so that we can continue. So she is a freelance article writer. Um, she's a freelance writer. She, um... Oh, our tree group. Why are our dogs outside? I hate when they, like, are outside for so long. And they want to go for a walk. Fine. Let's go on a walk. Let's go for a jog. This is how she gets her exercise in, and while they do that, I can move on into the house. So, if you guys have watched, what is it called? It's this YouTube channel, I think it's called Tiny Living or something like that. Oh great, our dog needs to be taken to the vet. Okay great, they're going on their jog. Poor little pupper. Um, but yeah, I think it's called, their channel's like something like Tiny Living. I'll link it down below, but basically what they do is, there's this host, you know, this guy, and... He goes to a bunch of different people's tiny homes, and they kind of discuss, like, how it was created, their inspiration, their interests, everything like that. And my favorite part, honestly, is seeing how they incorporate storage. Like, I just think it's so cool. But anyways, one in particular I saw, which, if I find it and remember, I will link it down below as well, was this girl who was just really into into crafting, and, like, she did, like, wood crafting and stuff like that. And um, she was able to kind of build the house all by herself, sort of. Like, she had the help of friends, of course, and some people who had specialties that she didn't know about, but that was her inspiration. Like, she just, you know, she loved building so much, she loved woodworking, and so she built her own tiny home. And so that was the inspiration for this house. I wanted it to mostly look like it could have been built, so basically just a lot of wood and things like that. Um, but yeah, so... In the front over here, we have our cute little dog area. Um, one of, this is Cleo Liberty's bed. Um, this is our little desk office situation, our kitchen. We built that. This is like the only thing we built in the house so far is this knife block. Um, but hey, great deal. <laughs> great deal. This is our table. I like to pretend like she built that, but of course she didn't. Um, this is our living room. She really loves sunflowers as well. So we have a little bit of some sunflower paintings and some yellow. Um, honestly, I love this door. I had never seen it. Also, pretend like those are sunflowers. Um, and then if you go out this door, the backyard is pretty nice. I was able to put this fence up without counting as tile, which is probably because I think I took the flooring out. But here's a little bath that we have in the back for our, to clean our dogs. Um, we have a basketball hoop that she hasn't really played with. Her bike, which she rides sometimes. Her crafting table from a woodworking table. Love that. It's a skill that I don't have a lot of Sims do in The Sims 4, and I should because I do honestly love it. Our own little garden, um, because we like to, like, fish and garden for our own food, so they're cheaper prices. Um, but yeah, and I really love this place. And then upstairs, it's really cute in my opinion. So this is our bedroom, and as you can see, this is how we favor. <laughs> this is how we favor Simon. This is Simon's bed. <laughs> Um, uh, but there's Liberty's picture, so, you know, balance. Um, but this is our bed. Sunflowers have come back for us. Um, and then over here, I'm sorry, it's like not the greatest tour. I'm trying. But we have another sunflower picture. Um, dirty clothes. 
these are the stairs that come up into the room, you know? This is our little laundry area, which I love. And this plant thing is so cute. It came with Santa Living. I adore it. We have a yellow closet. Um, and then this is our bathroom just right here. Oh, yeah, it's our bathroom. And it has, like, a cute little theme. These ones of came with outdoor retreat, yes. And I just love this mirror because it's so cute. It has little notes on it, so it's as if, like, she left, like, little pep talks to herself or something. Um, but yeah, let's just make sure our dog's food bowls are full. Oh my gosh, for a second I was like, what is that? I thought he was like outstretched and it made me jump for a second. Okay, um, I don't know if he just needs a bath or if he really has some issues going on, but let's go ahead and fill up these food bowls real quick. Um, and then I guess we're gonna try to give him a bath and then if he still is looking pretty bad, which I think he will be, um, then we'll, we'll take him to the doctor's. Oh, I'm sad. For some reason, like, since I moved them into this save, um, she doesn't have, like, the closest relationships like, with her dogs that she had before, so I'm gonna cheat it. I oh, know, I'm always cheating. Move on. <laughs> so, yeah, and then she likes it better, so. Great. At least Liberty knows where her bed is. <laughs> but um, to be honest, they usually take turns. Like sometimes Liberty will come sleep upstairs. Sometimes she won't. Oh, baby Simon. Okay, I know he's sick for real. But like, let's just clean him up before we take him out. Um, poor little boy. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to clean him up. Um, and then I guess we're actually going to wait out a little bit. I want to take him to a vet at a reasonable hour. So after that, we're just going to actually try to get some sleep. So we'll ask him to lie down, and then we're going to go to bed ourselves. Um, but yeah, our sweet little boy. I know, I know, it sucks, it's awful. But we are just going to keep on trucking along. Also, just make sure, I haven't cheated her money either. The way she's made most of her money, to be honest, has been dog breeding and she sells her little pepperonis who are so cute and so usually what I do is I will move them out of this household and I'll put them into the households I want them, want them to be part of and then I'll just exchange the amount of money that's reasonable for the pups. Usually about two to four hundred dollars is how much I've seen when I sold the pets for adoption um so that's usually what I give her for each one but yeah that's why she has a good chunk of change. Where's Simon? I'll leave him alone. <laughs> He's just trying to have a good time. She's like, fine, I'm going to bed. I can't do with this. Um, but we will take Simon to the bed because poor little baby. He's a little baby boy. Um, but yeah, they make such cute babies. Like, they really do. They're so adorable. Um, and I would keep them, but I just don't want that many dogs in one household. Though in one household I particularly made, I made these two fathers who have three baby girls. They're so cute. Um, they had one because the fathers each were in a previous marriage with a woman, and so they each brought a daughter into the marriage, and then they had one together, and it was beautiful. Um, I don't know how that works in the real world. I think you probably just get like a surrogate or something. It assumes it's easy because you just randomize the genetics, but yeah, it's pretty cool. So, they're adorable. All their babies are so, so cute. I just can't. The family's adorable, and they live, I think, they either live in a mansion in Oasis Springs, or they live in the empty plot. I think they live in a mansion in Oasis, in Oasis Springs, and you'll probably see a speed build. Well, not a speed build, because I'm not doing that, but you'll see a furnishing of it, because I do want to furnish it. But it's so cute. Each each of the baby girls got their own puppy. It's so cute. <laughs> oh, see, this is what I love about Liberty. She'll just, like, she's, she's a loyal dog, so she likes to be around Cameron a lot, and so she'll just, like, come up and, like, sleep everywhere, <laughs> and it's so cute. Okay, so let's just <laughs> go ahead and search these pockets, you know. I wish every time I searched the pockets of my laundry hamper, I got money, especially because they get, like, $40 or 40 some millions. you know. I get nothing. <laughs> there is never money in there, ever. If there is, maybe it's a penny. I found a penny one time and maybe a nickel. Also, what is up with this glitch? I don't understand, but let's just, uh, let's move on. So we're going to go ahead and grab some breakfast. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me, <laughs> let me call my pet C real fast. I don't know if they still know the same things they knew before. So let's go ahead and get them to eat their food. And then we're going to eat some breakfast. And then, dang, we have to cook. Um, we're going to have 
Honestly, let's just get a quick meal. You know, I don't have enough time for this, so we're going to eat some cereal. Um, and then we'll take Simon to the vet, and we'll take Liberty to the dog park. Or let's, we'll take them to both places. You know, they go all the same places, you know. But maybe we'll try to make Cameron some more friends at the dog park, because for one who doesn't love Cameron. Oh, wait, if you guys watch my other parts, you know, Justine, Cameron's ex-best friend doesn't like Cameron because basically when Justine aka Cameron's ex-best friend first got to Newcrest oh look at Liberty she just wants to see what mama's doing oh she's so cute oh. honestly I know you can teach your dogs how to do this but I just think it's so cute so I just I I don't scold them for it um oh she's so cute where are you going do you have work <laughs> are you changing no, okay, go to work. Okay, scratch that. We're gonna do all that fun stuff when she gets back from work. I thought she was in the freelancer, freelance writing career for a moment, but yeah, anyways. So, oh, maybe I have, I do. Okay, I have a relationship. So, this is um, Cameron's ex best friend. His name's Myron. Anyways, they were besties, and then um, Myron kind of had a crush on her, and she was like, no, like, I think we're just such great friends. So, she like, let him down nicely, and they were, like, kind of over, it was, like, whatever, but, um, somehow, my own girlfriend, Justine, found out, but let me just be honest, um, they had this moment where they were, like, besties, and, you know, he kind of had a crush, and she was, like, no, they had that all before he even knew Justine, because he met Justine on this Sim Da dating app, which is a mod, link it below, <laughs> um, but, like, yeah, and so, you know, like, she wasn't even in the picture, so I don't know what she's jealous, but basically she was mad that they were still best friends and he had feelings for her before, and she got jealous. And then she lashed out. Who peed? Maybe it's not peed. Maybe it's just great. Oh, you're still... Okay, I think you peed. I don't know. Um, well, that was an accident, but we were going to leave anyway. But anyways, uh, yeah, so she lashed out on Cameron right after she had given birth to Myron's daughter, Melody, and... It was, like, this huge deal. And then she got in a fight with Cameron, and then Cameron won the fight and gave her a black eye. And Myron didn't really care that Justine was jealous because, like, they were still, like, they had a good relationship besides that. Um, and he was best friends with her. But the moment that he gave his baby mama a black eye, <laughs> it was over. And so he kind of became best friends with the other girl that was in their trio friend group. And um, Merida, who was in the last part of this series, I guess. Um... And so now she kind of feels like a huge outsider, and she kind of just wants new friends who aren't part of that group, because she still likes Merida, and her and Myron are, like, kind of cool. They're just, like, not talking to each other right now. So she just kind of wants some friends who aren't part of that drama and that situation, you know? So hopefully she'll be able to meet some people. But let's just go ahead and go in here, and we're going to go... I was like, why? We're going to sign Simon in for... A something. I don't know. What are we saying for? Oh, his sickness. He's so hurt. Like, my precious baby boy. I know. You were just going through. Oh, hun. Uh, oh, you are so sick. Are you gonna die? <laughs> like, that's just so sad. Um, but yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and get our pet examined. Um, and we're gonna come over here and purchase- Oh my gosh, I love him! Oh my gosh, what's wrong, sweetie? Oh no, that's awful! Okay, what are we doing? Stay in your podium? No! Okay, so I know this dog. This dog started in one of my other households. Her name's Cinnamon. She's super cute. Um, so here- No, Cinnamon, you can eat. Let me move. I'm so sorry, baby. Oh my gosh, you're just so cute. Oh my gosh, no! Wait, Cinnamon, I'm sorry, but like- <laughs> Okay, whatever. You know, we, we, we're we feeding whoever else, you know, the next dog who's hungry. Oh, but this is Cinnamon's owner. <laughs> She's so cute. I forgot her name. What's her name? Veronica. Yeah, Veronica. They're, they're adorbs. They're adorbs. Anyways, um, there's our little baby Simon. Oh my gosh, wait, we should meet Veronica. She could be a cool friend. Okay, no, but Veronica's going to be just scenes friend because they're both actresses, and so they're both part of this club that I made for actresses called the SimCity Acting Union. So, we, we, you know, we need someone who doesn't know Justine, so let's just go over here and be supportive of our baby boy. Our big baby boy. You know, they're really going through it. Okay, let's pretend like we're watching, and then call Liberty over here, because I don't know where she is. Oh, she's just chilling outside. 
Okay, um, decline treatment. Want your pet to top it out at the vet before no treatment. The vet remains sick. Honestly, yeah. I was like, you can't decline treatment because they're always sick. Like, they never get over it. I think I've tried, like, waiting out for them to get over it. They never get over it. So, we are going to get him some expensive treatment so he doesn't have to have the cone of shame and be sad. So let's watch our cute little baby boy. He said, what'd you just do? And she's like, I know, I love you too. And he's like, okay, whatever, lady. Okay, and then magically cured by the time he hit the floor. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, so we're going to go over here um, and buy some wellness treats because I like to use those um, to try to cure the sickness. If it can be cured that way, I know some can't and it's really annoying. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some, where is it, where is it, where is it, some wellness treats. We're going to get, <laughs> we're just preparing, you know, 10, okay. So now, oh my gosh, I love, okay, so, <laughs> fun story. Um, If you guys have seen my Strangerville Let's Play, Johnny Zest basically saved Strangerville, um, wonderful. He met a girl, this is her, <laughs> she's so adorable, but she obviously has a human form, which is the one he knew about until they got, I don't even, oh, they're engaged, but they have a daughter, um, and you'll, like, learn all about that if you watch the finale of the Strangerville LP, where I do, uh, what happened after they saved Strangerville video, um, which should go up before this one, hopefully, because I don't mean to spoil, but anyways, I got this cool cat off the gallery, because since she's an alien, I thought she would have an interesting looking cat, and so that's her cat. And, like, her name is Liberty Lurkigi, and I like to think that, like, an alien simlish, that's how you say Liberty. And then if you, like, see their dog, he has, like, a name like that, too. I think it's, like, Clay Clark or something. I don't know. Fun story. <laughs> but we're actually going to go to the dog park now. Oh, my gosh. Wait, wait, wait. She's talking to us? Wait. Let's be friends. <laughs> let's be friends. I think she's cool. I just wish that she wouldn't, like, go out into town looking like this, because I like the idea of thinking that, like, she doesn't feel safe going out, because, you know, she's, like, an alien. Like, I think all occults like, to try to blend into the sim world, and so I wish that in their, like, original towns, like how vampires have Forgotten Hollow and spellcasters have, um, what is it called? <laughs> Glimmerbrook, you know? Let's go here with our dogs. Um, I would wish that, like, the occult, like, would be very comfortable and, like, pretty open and they're, like, designated worlds, and then in the other worlds where the occults aren't, like, normal, they wouldn't be out in the open and they'd try to be secretive about it or something. Like, I would just love that. And then, like, I mean, like, eventually, like, you know, they could be like, oh, accept us, and then, like, the whole world's like, ooh, you're cool, and, like, some like him, some don't. You know, like, realistically... <laughs> But I'm guessing that's, like, way too much to ever do. But I just wish that at least, like, default, act human. <laughs> like, I know you're not, and, like, you could have slip-ups. But, like, don't just walk out and just, like, do magic and bite humans and look alien. Please, <laughs> like, be secretive. I think I just think it's cool if it's secretive. But let's be a nice person and fill this pet bowl. Because I don't want our dogs to be sick. And then I feel like um, this would be, like... Cleo's thing. I call her Liberty because, like, you know, I call her whatever. <laughs> I call her whatever doesn't matter. Okay, okay. Liberty, come on, let's do this. Let's see how many faults you get. Honestly, I haven't done the, like, the maximum of this skill, and so from what I've seen on the basic level, it seems, like, useless and, like, not interesting at all, which makes me so sad because I remember in The Sims 3, training horses was everything, and I just wish that they brought back, like, dog shows and horse shows and pet competitions, like, you know, make them more interesting. But, like, yeah, so... Oh my gosh, I have a funny story. So if you guys just saw Simon P, like right there, you know, Simon, um, what's it called? I remember one time I was with my friend and she had a dog and we took her dog to the dog park, but her dog doesn't really like, like she likes going to the dog park because she likes the open space and running around and stuff, but she hates the dog park because she hates when other dogs are there because every other dog freaks her out because she's in the house a lot. And so she's just around like human beings a lot. And so she's not used to dogs, especially big dogs. They're very intimidating to her. And so we took her to the dog park and we were really chill. And then this big dog came in. Oh, hold on. Um, not bad, but not perfect. Cleo Liberty had a minute, time of 40, uh, 54 minutes and two faults during the run. Make sure Cameron gives them proper training and discipline before running the course again. How do you, sorry, how do you do that? Like, do you just yell at her? <laughs> like, 
<laughs> training, nothing. Training, nothing. What, what are you supposed to do? <laughs> oh, let's become companions. Oh my gosh, let's do that. Let's do that with Simon. Oh, uh, so cute, so cute. I just love that. And Simon's so jealous. He's like, I thought you looked me better. I do, honey. I do. Anyways, okay. So, basically, we're at the dog park. And to be honest, I get intimidated by new dogs because I always feel like they're going to bite me and kill me. And, like, I've just watched too many Judge Judy episodes where, like, they're like, the dog bit my face off. So, like, can't handle it. So, this big dog who kind of looks like Simon but, like, more muscle. Oh, let's have Simon run it. Let's see if he can do it. Um, he came into the dog park, and the dog park is, like, kind of small, like, it's, like, a fenced off community, and, like, um, like a, like, an apartment complex, they have a dog park, you know, so it's, like, that, it's, like, kind of smallish, um, and so, obviously, my best friend's dog, like, her name's Chloe, she, like, ran to us, and she was, like, no, like, help me, and we were, like, oh, girl, we gotta bounce, and then I was over here, like, ooh, big dog, I was scared, and I'm pretty sure dogs can smell fear, so I was, like, ooh, I'm gonna die, anyway, so I was watching the dog, and I was trying not to move, like, too quickly, and I was trying to, like, be calm, because I was like, oh, my heart, you know? <laughs> I was like, show no fear. What is this? Cameron, I just found out about this concert at an abandoned warehouse. We can't miss this. Let's go. Oh, don't try to act like everything's cool. We saw how you treated us. You went off and got a new best friend the moment things got tough. So anyways, <laughs> back to my story. I was watching this dog, and then this dog, I kid you not, lifted his leg and peed. But the thing is, I had, like, looked away from him and then looked back, and so I didn't know that he was peeing. And so then I, like, just saw and I looked at it, and I was like, where did all this Gatorade come from? Like, I was like, who, I was like, who just poured Gatorade without me knowing? And it was like, so much. <laughs> And then my best friend looked at me like I was stupid and she started laughing and I realized what it was. I was like, oh my gosh. And we talked about it from now, like ever since. And it's just a really funny story we talk about again. Um, <laughs> but that's what I got reminded of. So there's my story, kids. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just love seeing my Sims all around this place. It's just so nice. But, oh, it's autumn. Is it the first day? It's the second. Not bad, but not perfect. 44 minutes, one fault. Ooh, we're doing great, guys. Why are you... <laughs> See, the thing about these dogs is they get so jealous, but I'm sorry. Who else is here? Ooh, let's come talk to him. What are you part of? The horse tail hangout? Oh, that's cool. It's fun, like, having all these clubs. I think it's really cool. Oh, we could be friends with him. Okay, so this is Bay Bayani. Bay Bayani. He's friends with... I mean, not friends. He's engaged to... Oh. <laughs> Rosie, I don't know these dogs. I think these are his dogs. Oh, except this one. Chow Bravo, that's her dog. Roar, it's Bear Knight. Look at him trying to be all cool with us now. No, we're upset. Um. Oh, this is the dog I was talking about. Clay Clerk, yes. <laughs> it's great. So, either or. But, um, yeah, Bay, right here, Bay Bayani. He is married to Veronica, who's friends with Justine, who is our ex-best friend's fiance. No, they're not engaged. They're like, girl, ma baby mama, who we had a fight with because she started it. <laughs> There's a story. Oh, let's play chess. Oh my gosh, wait, wait. Let's play with Bay. Are we just, okay, he knows to play. Oh, you guys, how do you do that? You just played at the same time. That's not a thing. Um, but yeah, so super fun, super fun. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he got up and left. So sad. Oh, we can join another club. Let's do that. So we're going to join a second club. We're going to join the garden gnomes because we're gardeners. Okay, welcome to the garden gnomes. I'm happy that you decided to join our club. Um, The hair square, where is that? I don't really want to go <laughs> at the moment. I'm sorry. Um, I do want to make a community garden before I kind of like do any gardening clubs at the moment but yes let's head off home because nobody is really up this late at 11 o'clock <laughs> playing chess in a park especially a dog park but myron's here he stopped on by and we let him inside because you know he's been trying to contact us for so long why does simon need to pee and just doesn't go <laughs> oh i think he's going okay we, I, I don't know let's pretend like we told him okay so Anyways, he came over trying to talk to us, be like, oh, we should be friends. And we were just like, no, like, you just betrayed us. Like, I get that she is, you know, your maybe mama. I completely understand. But the fact that you just, oh, they had a bromance. You know, it's really ahead of us. 
But the fact that you just chose her side, like, like, come on. And he's like, I know, I know, like, she's kind of crazy a little bit. And she's like, crazy? And he was like, yeah, like, I mean, she's been changing the whole house. And honestly, I miss my tiny home. And I am so in love with her, you know? And he's like, plus, I just want, you know, he's like, well, not just, but he's like, plus, like, I want more kids. She wants more kids. We just get along so well. We're so compatible. And I'm a parent, you know? Sometimes you can't just make decisions for yourself, you know? And she's like, yeah, but if you really loved her, then you wouldn't just let her treat you like this. Like, it would be an equal ground, a common balance, and it wouldn't just be all what she wants. After all, like, we are nothing, okay? We don't we never dated. We aren't like that. And he's like, I know, I know, you're right, you're right. And she's like, just think about it. And he's like, I will. And that's, we came in with the, we came in too early for the bro hug. But that's what the bro hug was about, you know? Like, they, they feel like they may have struck a chord, you know? They think that they may have found a common balance, you know? So now we're going to try to be friends again, you know? Even though we kind of felt like he betrayed us the first time. But it seems like he kind of understands the situation a little better. And he's like, plus, you can't just punch her, okay? And she's like, she started. And he's like, yeah, yeah, you know. But, like, yeah. So we're just, we're going to be, you know, friends again. We're going to, we're going to get through this. Um, but, yeah. So, anyways, we're going to actually ask him to leave because we just have some work to do. So I'm sorry. I just got some work to do. You know, I got to go, got to go. That was an accident. It wasn't meant to be bad. <laughs> it wasn't meant to be bad. Just leave. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, my neighbors came over. I'm so sorry anyways. But we are actually going to come here, and we're actually going to use that as inspiration to write. I don't want to write a kid's book, though, so we kind of need her to get some better skills. Don't turn flirty. Why are we turning flirty? No, what? New best friend? He dumped you. <laughs> Even as friend. Oh, she's sick. Okay, we gotta order some medicine. More order medicine. Everybody's sick. It's flu season. Um, so go ahead and take the medicine. Oh, we actually got our fruit cake though. I never get my fruit cake. <laughs> but maybe from like when I moved her into the safe house, she may have just had that in our gallery. And let's go ahead and try to get like a pet sitter. Um for 24 hours you know dogs are like a little much we need a break so we are gonna send both of our little ones Ooh, did they both leave sometimes they don't both leave okay let's go ahead and take a break so we can get our medicine and then we're gonna try to write can we write something better let's write a short story And it's going to be called Tall Tales for Short Adults. What? No, it's going to be called When They Betray Us. <laughs> okay, and it's going to be about a story of when cursed love begins to go wrong. <laughs> okay, that's our story. <laughs> Wonder who she's talking about. Crazy, crazy. Anyways, let's see what else we have to do for work. 25% of our book is written. Oh, wait. That's not what that means. Almost 50% is written. But, oh, oh, that's basic. What? Just, what? <laughs> oh, it's like, what just happened here? Okay, we are promoted. Hey! <laughs> promoted to advice columnist. Ooh, like Carrie Bradshaw. Let me know if you guys get the reference. Comment down below if you do. Anyways, we need to keep writing. So go ahead and keep going. Just keep swimming. Um, we have some weird hours, but okay, okay. We're getting places. We're getting places. We're a little hungry. A little hungry. Just keep on writing. Oh, do we finish? Cause oh, I think we did. So let's go ahead and order some higher service oh, oh my gosh what an achievement honestly because oh if you guys don't know this about me which you probably don't because i haven't really talked about it on my channel um i want to be a writer <laughs> um ooh, what do we want take up a solid pizza but i want to be a writer as well as an attorney and i'm going to university for a bachelor of arts in business administration with a concentration in finance 
and a double major in creative writing. So there's my getup for you guys, if you didn't know. But, um, yeah, so I've been trying to write a book for, like, years of my life. I'm almost 19. I started writing when I was, like, six years old. It wasn't good, but I, I had started. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so, and I have yet to finish a book. I'm so good at starting and planning, but I never finish. Actually, I don't think I can say I'm good at planning if I have finished writing one, because I think that just shows that I'm not great, or I'm probably just not good at commitment. <laughs> But, yeah, so this is how I become a successful writer. It's just that The Sims, <laughs> her accomplishment is my accomplishment. But we're just waiting for this pizza. I really thought that would be, like, our delivery man. But, anyways, so there's my fun story. Anyways, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a copy. Oh, wait. I'm going to put here, and then we're going to create a copy for 50 bucks. Great, and then we are going to also put that in here, and we're going to self-publish this. It's not going to be great, but it, after all, it was like the first thing we ever wrote, so how could we expect it to be good? So, publish, when they betray us, um, and then we're going to come take our pizza. She said, hey, be like, hey, the most recent book that Cameron wrote has been nominated for an award. <laughs> Check out the next award ceremony Sunday at 7 to see if she won. Oh, that's so cool. It shouldn't get a lot of money, though, because it's self-published, but that is so cool. Oh, my. That's that's not the real world. <laughs> but that's amazing. Um, so that's really awesome. Um, I actually may play with her until Sunday because I've actually never went to an award show. I meant to go to one that one of my make-a-famous actor sims went to in a different household that you'll probably see a video on, but I forgot. Like, he got married like, that the day before, <laughs> and they, had, like, had this huge wedding, and it went till the morning, and then I forgot all about the award ceremony until, like, five days, like, three to five days after, so. Great. She, we paid for our pizza. Cool. Um, also, 25 bucks for pizza. I mean, I guess that's kind of realistic, not gonna lie. I don't know. I just buy a lot of Domino's when I'm in college, because it's, they always have a deal. It's always, like, I don't know, buy two for like $20 or something, and I'm like, it's worth it. <laughs> Cameron, I've got an extra ticket to the hottest opera in town, but we've got to go right now. You in? The opera? Okay. Like, I want to see the opera in real life, but I don't know if she's an opera person, you know? But, ooh, but she she's like, I'm ready, though. I'm going to go. Like, my dogs are taken care of. They're at the pet sitter. Oh, I don't know what... Oh, the opera was such a beautiful experience. Joey Bettacelli... Botticelli, one of the most amazing voices I've ever heard in my life. Oh, that's wonderful. Justine's gonna kill you. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and check out our plants back here. Oh, they're constantly watered. Let's go harvest everything. Um, honestly, though, like, why didn't he take Justine? Like, because I'm pretty sure she was not there, so... Ooh, sus. <laughs> Like, yeah, we're going to do this. Let's go upstairs, use restroom, and then I think we are going to change our outfit um, back into this one, and we're going to do some woodworking. We can craft furniture now. Oh my gosh, let's craft a garden pot. Um, go to work feeling inspired. Earn $1,000. We will do all these things. Um, but yes, it's so cool, so cool, oh my gosh. Okay, so she's, she's working on that, that's really cool. Um, when the dogs come back, I'll probably have her, have the dogs mate so we can, um, you know, get a few pepperonis, not pepperonis, pepperonis, and sell them. <laughs> um, this Oh, let's go ahead and see what she has. So, oh, we got 20 things of garlic and 7 things of basil. Nice. More open. Oh, all of our other things are gone. <laughs> Makes sense, though. Um, but this is really nice. I wonder if there's a fishing club. I know there's, like, a great outdoorsman club that I need, but, you know. Oh, oh. Oh, it was placed in our inventory. Okay, so let's go ahead and put it 
right <laughs> just right here this looks like a nice spot oh our inventory inventory okay it's kind of extra <laughs> Oh, we have a nice chair. Okay, okay. Oh, this is so cute. <gasps> can we put our banana tree in it? That would be so nice. Let's, <gasps> we can. That's so... I love that. Is it bleeding, like, into a house? Yeah, it is. Okay, let me just... Nice. <laughs> can I move it back one? What? Oh, no. Um, That's fine. That's good. Um, I don't know where to put this, but I want, I want to keep it. I think we're going to put it right here, so I think that's nice. Hopefully she can still go upstairs. That's really cute. Yep, clean up these dog toys. It's the only chance you'll get because they're always going to make a mess again. Um, and I do kind of want to write, just start a book since it's on my mind. Um. Wait, I don't want it to be a short story, though. So, let's not do that right now. Let's go upstairs. We're going to have her go to bed. <sighs> so, so grand. Alrighty, guys. And I'm actually going to play a few days off screen because I want to bring you guys along for the award ceremony and for when the pepperonis are born. So, it's been quite a while to play so much without you guys. Okay. So, a couple things have changed. Well, not really changed, but a couple things have happened. Um, but let me just, you know, like, let me love her because she's just really, she just needs some love. So, the dogs have not gotten pregnant, pregnant since. And I've been making them mate like crazy. I don't know why, but they haven't gotten pregnant. Also, I've had some weird glitch where I can't, like, just put away the clothes that were in my laundry. Let me just... You know, pick up, pick up your dog stuff, kids. But um, I cleaned this laundry and it wouldn't let me put it away. But um, other stories. Oh, sorry, it's cute. I don't know. Um. Oh, so also what happened? So this is what's going down. So as you guys know, me and Myron are cool. He's been like calling us like every day, inviting us out. We have not been going out because we've just been busy. But we're like good again. We're good friends, you know. Um. So I'm just gonna let this like go away. Like, just zero, you know, like, it's not the 69. <laughs> anyways, um, so, me and my are cool. So, anyways, Gavin is a co-worker, and, um, you know, we were, we were making friends, uh, we tried to make Moo CSS out on a date, and I guess we blew it somehow, but we're not gonna worry about that, because today we are gonna go to the award show. I don't really know how to go. <laughs> I know that sounds really weird, but I don't know how you're supposed to get there, so I'm gonna Google it. As I Google it, let's see if I can multitask and tell you guys more. Oh my gosh, wait, I don't know why they're not good friends. They're supposed to be such good friends. That makes sense why she hasn't been coming around, so I'm gonna let them be good friends because they're supposed to be, and they were in my previous day file. There's no reason they shouldn't be now, so they're good friends, <laughs> but um... Basically, the little story is, after Gavin was such a jerk to us, we were like, fine, but we wanted a date for this award show. So we went on the Simda dating app. If I remember, I will link you down below. If not, you can look it up. I think it's Little Miss Sam's mod, and I love her mods so much. They're amazing. Um, So yeah, right there. And we chose a blind date, and we got... Sharya? Sh Sharya. <laughs> I think it's Sharya Dada. That's what I think. If I'm wrong, I'm so sorry. Feel free to correct me below. Anyways, on their date, she got to know him a lot. So, like, they know each other more than most of my sims know each other. But he's ambitious, a cat lover, a vegetarian, and a vendor. And I know, cat lover, dog lover, crazy. But I think we can change his mind. Um, and perhaps he'll become a veterinarian. Veterinarian? Veterinarian. Um, because there's no way that he's only going to love cats. <laughs> or maybe he does, and we can't change him, and that's fine. But he is going to be our date to this award show when I figure out how to get there. Stay tuned. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so that's our date. He's super great. He's very nice. Um, Gavin was kind of a jerk when we hung out with him. He invited us out to a bar and then kept leaving us to go talk to all these strangers. And it was just really disrespectful. And... I'm just glad we found somebody better. 
kinder, sweeter. Oh, I forgot. So we've been spending a lot of attention on our dogs, and we always take them for a jog. And so, like, you know, your girl's lost a few pounds. And, like, it wasn't, it wasn't a goal or anything. It was unconsciously. She was just, like, taking all of her all of her both her dogs out for a run pretty often because she wants to give them some loving but you know gotta make it quick because she has a lot of things to do and she had another dog she always had to go take two so also I'm curious can you like walk two dogs at once is that a possibility or if I'm did I just lose my mind but like yeah even so I recently noticed that she lost weight and I was like oh crazy so that's that's also an update oh look at our poor pups Oh, you're so cute. Do you have to go out? Because, like, just leave. <laughs> just go to the bathroom. Oh, oh my gosh, we're going to see a award show. <laughs> I don't know how to get there. I don't know. Um, we. I've been we. Okay, so I think I know how to get there. I think I know what we're doing. Let's go. Oh, okay, we made it. Cue the music. It's time for the Starlight Accolades. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I'm sorry, I'm a dork. I'm, mm, oh my gosh. Darren Dreamer? Is that you? Is it? Oh, it's Dirk. I'm so sorry. He, like, marries some wizard in a different game and becomes the spellcaster, and it's funny. Um, oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is amazing. Oh my gosh, what are we doing? <gasps> what? Clara? <laughs> what are you doing here? Like, I don't even know your life, but... Oh my gosh, what do I do? <laughs> Read excerpt from rent book. Are we supposed to? Are we supposed to do that? What are we supposed to do? Um... Okay, I don't care about prank day. Leave me alone. What do we do? What do we do? We do we're gonna stick together. Let's just... Hey! <laughs> oh, we're getting pictures today. Why can't we... What? Can we not get in the building? <laughs> Set fame requirement. Oh, it's that... <laughs> hey, I got invited just like everyone else. Let's go. Come on, everybody. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, dang. Our date's not cool. This will be probably worn around the winner's neck as both a show of fame and a fashion statement. Okay. Uh, I don't know if that means I can't win because he won. Um, oh. Okay, I guess he won. How did he win before anyone else got here? That's my question. We've been waiting this whole time. Oh. Oh, we're jealous. Good good for him, you know? Can we read an excerpt from our book? Just <laughs> interrupt his speech. Yeah, he's great. Oh, he's crying. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I what a beautiful performance. Oh, my gosh. Wait, insert applause. Yeah, you to get it. We get it. You won. So, like, do we not get to win? Ooh, ooh, can we read an excerpt from our book now? <gasps> you know what, baby? Go ahead. Oh, Clara hates us. Go ahead, baby girl. Tell us about that magical land you set for yourself. I don't even care. Dirk won, but I got the free advertisement. Clara's like, get off stage. Is anyone here, like... Oh, Clara, Clara, I know. Let's see. Nobody's here. That's weird. Dirk's like, I don't care. Okay, thanks, Dirk. I get it. Oh, oh, people are moving. Hi. Yeah, whatever. Okay, nobody cares. <clears throat> you know what? You're just mad. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, now you just, now you're just a winner. Okay. Whatever. Loser. It's fine. Is, is that glow your award? Um, so how long are we going to be talking about? He's a pro Turn off that fame shine. You ain't like, you just like everybody else. But we may try to get a selfie or something. Myron, we are at an awards show, and we didn't bring you. How do you feel? Um, can we all just take a seat? Is that literally the awards show, though? It's like, like, oh my gosh, I think that's it. That was the lamest thing of my life. <laughs> like, is that, oh, uh, she's taking the mic again. Are you about to sing? Like, what is this? Because, like, Dirk left. So, like, what are we doing? I don't even know. Oh, do I know you? No, I don't. Okay. 
So everybody's fighting their friends. Cool. We're just chilling in the front by ourselves. Wait, what does that say? Are people just winning now? Caitlin Tolbert won a Starlight Accolade. This will be probably worn around the winners, I guess, both the show of fame and a fashion statement. Okay, well, how do we, like, make ourselves watch this? Like, is this... Oh. <laughs> At least we got a new seat, you know? Fun, fun. Yeah. Who? Is it you? Arihi Mete won a Starlight Accolade, probably the biggest underdog of the show. No one was expecting that. Oh, so I guess we're not winning because we're... Okay, and what a jerk. She is a proper celebrity. Okay, girl, you get your credit. Yes, you speak that truth. I don't know what it is, but do that. See, like, I want her autograph. Yeah, everybody turn off your fame. I don't care. Um, is there anyone I know in the audience? Oh, wait, why are we around all these proper celebrities? B-lister, B-lister. Are we, like, the lamest? I think we are. We're not even a celebrity. We're never gonna win. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Is the show over? Because I was still watching it, but, like, Clara hasn't said nothing. That's awkward. The show just began, and we were like, let's read an excerpt from our book. You know, we worked really hard. On this betrayal. <laughs> like, what? Alright, who's next? I was, I'm like, is all of these people right here just gonna win? And we're just gonna sit here and be like... <laughs> insert applause. <laughs> hey! I saw you. I see you waving up there. Girl, what's up? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm getting a little wacky. Like my sim. Why is she talking so long? Is she ending it? Is that what this is? Is somebody next? For the outstanding fashion achievement for wearing really tight pants that look real good and not constricting at all, but we all hope you can still breathe, Robin Steen won a Starlight Accolade Award. It'd be awkward if I'm not saying this word right. Oh, I'm sorry. We could have had a better watch of this thing. Okay, who's next? Because, oh, okay. Rudy Hanley won a Starlight Accolade. Probably the biggest underdog of the show. I was expecting that. She's just so rude. Like, this concludes tonight's award ceremony. Congratulations to all the winners, and see you next time. <laughs> Honey, don't be embarrassed. Are you embarrassed? Oh, oh. You had an acne breakout? What? Honestly, I'm taking that out. I really hate how much acne occurs on this. And, like, I don't know how to get your acne cream. Um... Oh my gosh, wait! <laughs> she's supposed to be a celebrity sim, like one of the biggest, and like she's out here. <laughs> That's so funny to me, I'm so sorry. Um, so I think we accidentally left our date out here the whole night, and I would understand if he hated us and left, but I do want to meet. Oh, I think she like got her award, it was over, like she does not care. Oh, I wanted to introduce ourselves to A something. I remember there was an A and an I in her name. Um, but I don't think she's here. That sucks. Also, I don't know. The award ceremony is interesting. It's, I don't know. It's like a cool concept. It's just all the sims keep moving. Um, so, I'm guessing he's not here anymore. He is not. Oh, I feel bad. You know, Gavin was a jerk in our relationship, but we were a jerk in that relationship. So, I'm so sorry. <laughs> we just left you out here all night because we couldn't say zero fame enter. <laughs> like, I'm so sorry. Gotta hit the hay. Gotta hit the hay. Gotta, gotta hit the hay. When are you, like, is this your season? No, it's not. Okay, that's why. Because I've been like, you have not given me any bananas. At all. I know, girl, I know, I know. Let's just go to sleep. Alrighty, guys. So, that is a wrap for this current hustle video. I am so glad that you guys were able to stay through it and watching it with me. That's odd phrasing, but thank you guys so much for watching. Please give the thumbs up and comment down below. I feel like I already told you something to comment, but um, comment your favorite, um, food. <laughs> yes, because she's hungry. Please comment your favorite food down below, and um, please subscribe if you enjoyed my video. 
or videos or me making a fool of myself and I hope to see you next time. Bye!